Robin. Yum. Hey everyone, this is Josh from Before, and I'm here with McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Red Robin. This is based off Tim Drake's look from New 52, which New 52 tends to not be my favorite designs, but this guy I think has some really cool potential here. He's got a Saturday morning cartoon quality that I really, really dig, and I uh, I can't wait to get him out of the box, so I think we'll take a quick lap around. See what we got here. These photos are looking sharper and sharper every time. And we'll take a look at that. If you're trying to find this guy on BrickSeek, I got him through cmdstore.com. So they have him in stock and shipping right now. You got to pay a little bit more for shipping uh, compared to something like Amazon or Target or GameStop. But they get him to your door very quickly. So let's just get Red Robin out of this box, right? Okay, right out of the box, I see a lot of things I really love and a few things I really don't love. Well, and one thing I noticed right away is actually this photo on the box that I said it looked really great. It has his wings on here twice for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, he's just got the one set of wings. They extend like so. He's got a great wingspan, looks really good, and he's got that piece in the back. So these are not going to come off. I, that was the first thing I looked at was w whether the wings could be detached or not, but they are permanently on there in this little sort of jetpack looking thing mounted on his back. I really love this design. It's not what I think of when I when I think of Red Robin. I think of the cowl covering his shoulders and I think of the mask covering his whole head. But I think this looks very, very rad. The red is not matching throughout. The spots where it's cast in red plastic and then there's two different uh, non-matching sh painted shades of red on there which is not not ideal and then his emblem right here and his chest is unpainted I, lo I'm gl I love that they did the one on the shoulder that looks great this does not I mean that's the one right in the, the square middle of his chest there that should be looking more finished than that right did it for that one right there yeah he's gonna need a lot of paint to really get him looking a hundo percent. And then another, I, can't, I hate to be keep dinging it right away, but this is stuff I'm seeing right off the bat. His uh, sort of bandolier, his straps right here, they're not glued down. Um, you can see this, this channel is tooled out and it's not, it should be like glued down there, it's not. I, I'll, I imagine I'll be able to, you know, carefully apply like some E6000 or something and get that where it needs to be. But man, I hate to be diving in with so many Gripes right out the bat. Let's start moving them around. That's a great looking face. I think that could pass as a Dick Grayson or a Jason Todd, you know, if you wanted it to, if you were making your own custom. Hair looks really good, it's windswept. It's got a blue sort of highlight on there. Let's see what kind of range the head has. That's gonna be kind of important as a flyer. Can we get it straight up? I mean, get it pretty far up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. All right, I love that. See, very happy with that. He can look straight up, flying. That's really what you need right there. So job well done on the neck. Shoulders were a bit stiff, so I just paused for a second and hit him with a hair dryer, and now he's got a much better range. Bicep cut works really well and looks really rad actually with that little strap thing around it. Uh, it doesn't, it's not flush when you turn it like that, you know, just something to be aware of. But the arms work very well, you know, you want to kind of get some poses almost like, you know, the Falcon, uh, you know, from the MCU. This also reminds me of the Marvel Legends Vulture, you know, with the way these wings look. He's definitely got that forward crunch. This is this is getting better all the time. Great forward crunch uh, at the diaphragm and the waist. You love to see that. He's definitely got kicks. Know how that goes. 
double knees. Oh yeah, this guy's gonna look very cool. The ball joint's not sculpted under there, but it is tucked under this little cuff here on his boots, which look very cool. Have some sculpt underneath the soles of the shoe there. Toes bend. Yeah, this is gonna be fun to play with. Yeah, I, some definite gripes, you know, in, in the uh, the visual department, uh, you know, how the paint it doesn't match, but I love the way that they give them this sort of, this spandexy Saturday morning outfit. You know, they, they jazzed it up a little bit. They put some, some dings and scratches on his knee pads, brought it to life a little bit, gave it a little bit of a story beyond just the, the bright spandexy form-fitting suit there. It's really sharp. It's great to have some more, you know, non-Superman flying characters. Definitely gonna put him on a flight stand, which he did not come with. He, what he came with was this staff, uh, and it, it's all right. I mean, it's, it's silver. It's got, you know, some segments there, but other than that, very little going on as far as a sculpted accessory there. It's all right. I mean, it's, it's not blowing me away. It's a, it's a staff that has almost zero details on it. Feels awfully thick. Um, I'm glad it's not just completely soft rubber, though. It's very, it's, it's girthy and it's rigid. Now, this is a site that should make a lot of people very happy because I think what this represents right here, some of these newer crop of figures right next to each other, I think we're looking at a much more careful attention to scale. I'd love to see that. You know, the changes, they don't always happen overnight, but I do think they're listening to us and they are implementing the changes that we are asking for. So we'll keep asking for them, right? And now we get to play mix and match Bat Family. So here we go. However you want to mix that up, I think this guy fits in pretty well with a bunch of different sources. And then let's just throw them in here with one more group for some extra comparison. And let's pause for a moment to welcome today's from Before Figs Rogues Gallery entry. It's going to be Darth Golden Freddy Animations and Reviews. Darth Golden Freddy has been supporting this channel for as long as I can remember, uh, showing up in the comments and participating during the live streams. It's great to have a friend of the channel like Darth Golden Freddy. Let's hear it in the comments. So Red Robin, do you need him? I really love the design of this figure and the, that Saturday morning cartoon quality. This one has got some QC problems. It's got some really sorely missing paint. Uh, it's got kind of a, a just a just plain lame ass accessory. But man, I really like it. I love I like these goofy wings. Uh, I like uh, the, the flying potential. I like this spandexy costume that has just enough, you know, sculpted details that keep it from just being kind of boring. It's really, I think, gonna come down to, like, is this someone you need in your collection? I can imagine them taking more or less the same body, throwing that cowl over the shoulders with a different mask, you know, and giving us that red robin that I think of, you know, when I think of the character. So if you feel like you wanna hold off, uh, you know, I can't blame you, and I think you'll be all right if, you know, this one isn't exactly scratching the itch for you. You know what I mean? But I'm going to hang on to him. I'm going to throw him on a flight stand and uh, do some silly stuff with him. So that's all I got for Red Robin. Thanks for watching, folks. I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.